ックスの。I was just in Mud Bay, which is a in in Pacific Northwest is like a pet pet food supply and pet place. And it's so funny because this girl was standing next to this guy, and she was just on one of those rant conversations where she was just talking his ear off, and he could care less. He was like, "Oh, thank God, a customer came in." I'm gonna go through Starbucks, but I wanted to actually do a review of a fiction book that I just did. I think it's important to read fiction because you need to have something where you just kind of relax. And sometimes nonfiction can be really heavy. Hold on, I'm gonna order my drink. Hi, um, I would like a tall iced dopio with whip, light ice, and can I have a pump of the caramel syrup? And flat lid, please. Flat lid, I'm just waiting for it to catch up here. You put light ice. Light ice, you got it. Awesome, thank you. Oh, uh, Sufi. Thank you. Okay, see ya. Okay. So, I wanted to do a little review of this book I wanted to do a little review of this book that, that I just finished, which is so cute. How to Marry Keanu Reeves in 90 Days. The title itself caught me. I just thought it was hilarious, and I had to get it. Okay, I gotta pay. Hold on. Thank you. Perfect. Thanks, Ratu. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. You too. Okay. So the title alone, it was a book just, it was like all these new books just sitting in, uh, you know, first of all, I went into an actual bookstore, which I was so excited to go into a bookstore. It was actually the whole reason why we went out. Hey, let's go to the bookstore. Because I just feel like we buy so many books online and I know I do, I buy secondhand books online all the time, but I miss the act of going in and just finding a surprise, you know, like something that you wouldn't, have, I wouldn't have known. I don't even know who she is. I wouldn't have known, but I loved everything. I loved her artwork. Look how cute that is, you know, let me see. I mean, how adorable is that? So I thought, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna buy this book because the title alone made me laugh. And so I bought it and I just wanna do a little review on it because I don't know, let's start doing book reviews. I'm always reading and, and I really think that you should always have, I shouldn't be shitting on you, but reading is so important. And I know a lot of people do audio and that's fine too. I actually physically read my book still. I absolutely love doing that, but there's no reason why you can't do audio as long as you're taking in the information. So, I read this book and I absolutely loved it. Um, I always have multiple books going and I always have at least one uh, fiction going and then I might have multiple non-fictions going. And I think it's important so that you can go on and off with them because some days are really heavy and what you don't need is more heavy philosophical thinking on top of that. Sometimes you just need fiction. So I make sure every day I read a little bit of fiction and I might do a little both. I might read fiction for a little bit and then I might switch into reading some nonfiction and I have a schedule that I do that every single day after work, after I've taken care of my baby, my, my senior doggy, I, I read. And and then when I'm done with that, I watch TV or whatever, but I always make sure I get in my reading. So what did I think about this book? Let's see. If I did it five, four, if I did stars, right, up to five stars, I would give her a four star. Um, I think her characters were adorable. She did take the time to develop her characters and it really, there's really only three main characters in the book. Um, and then there's one kind of supporting, but we never really get to know him. He's kind of the antagonist, but I would have liked him to be in it more because he was kind of a great antagonist, but he was in it so briefly. Um, so why not a five star? The story itself was super cute. It's about this girl who, you know, 
she comes from a family with money she's an artist but her family is not old money her family is new money so she kind of explains to you that you know they're new money but they have money and she's been kind of lucky to always be living in as an adult in her father's building that he owns and so you realize right away okay she doesn't have the same kind of pressures that most people would have that they have to pay rent but because she's kind of grown up in this successful um you know in a successful family she also has been exposed to opportunities right her best friend owns a gallery and she's an artist right of course <laughs> it's always so easy for everybody in the movies they just are in galleries but that's you know not reality but she did make it realistic in the fact that she said hey you know she let you know that she came from money and this is her situation but the problem with the way that she was raised was that I think it also made her a little apathetic she also had a tragedy in her life of losing her brother and all these people that are in her life, the, the two other people, her best friend and her male best friend who was friends with her brother, they have this dynamic and this whole thing built around the loss of her brother. And so I just felt it's a really good story. Now the only reason why I didn't get it, give it five stars is because some of her dialogue was heavy-handed like sometimes the the chatter going back and forth in just straight dialogue went on for to me way too long and the main character's uh, personality is almost a little childish and immature so when that dialogue would go on too long I would get annoyed with her but at the same time, I think she wants us to get annoyed with her character because she's kind of difficult. <laughs> she doesn't see the things that are right in front of her or she's just kind of lying to herself a little bit about some things. And so this is a process of her kind of um, always, always going into kind of a fantasy land. Hence, you know, trying to find Keanu Reeves, right? Because the opening is she she reads in a, a newspaper or a magazine or something that um, Keanu Reeves is going to leave the business and he's about to get married and she's devastated by this. So he gave her hope in life. And so she goes on this crazy journey trying to find him to stop his marriage. And her friend, her boy, her guy friend, who's like her best friend also, joins her on this journey and tries to help her make it happen. And during all of this, obviously, there is self-discovery, and it's really about looking at our tragedies and traumas, and it's also about facing our life and the facts and the beauty that's right in front of us instead of always chasing the shiny object, and that's the main thing. So I give it a four star because the storyline is in, is in, it, in itself is really good. It was fun to go on that journey with her. It made me laugh out loud a couple of times. It made me annoyed, you know, a couple of times. Um, and overall, it gave me that that fiction, you know, feel of being able to escape my my own life for a little while after a long hard day, and to be able to read a story of someone else. And so, I would recommend you getting this book. I think it's a great book, and her name is K. M. Jackson. How to Marry Keanu Reeves in 90 Days. And she also writes under Kawana Jackson, which I also think um, I might at some point get some more of her books. But my problem is there are so many darn books to read and so many good authors that unless they sweep me off my feet, I often just go on to the next one. One of the authors that I am in love with, that I continue to read every single thing that she does, is Sarah Addison Allen. If you start with magic spells, you will be addicted to her. She's about to put out a new one, so we will definitely review that when it comes. But we are back now at the house. I hope you enjoyed this, this book review, How to Marry Keanu Reeves in 90 Days. I recommend it. Four stars out of five. Happy reading.